And welcome back to our continuing saga of Gloomhaven and fighting the hard AI. We are tackling the Inox encampment today, and it is quite a battle, and there are some big surprises on the way here on Legendary Tactics. All right, so let me know what's the situation here. We got a city encounter. <laughs> we have a city encounter right off the hop here, and uh, we're going to be doing some talking to some merchants. We're going to lose a little reputation, but you know what? Sometimes that happens. If you look yeah. at the top left, though, we've got the Berserker. The Berserker oh. has made it an appearance. Yes, yeah, so this Interesting. is a, a huge, huge uh, change in the team here. Oh, and always eat the berries, by the way. <laughs> okay. Always eat the berries. You're either going to get blessed or cursed. It's going to go one way or the other. Yeah. <laughs> but when given the choice, <laughs> always eat the berries. Okay. So, um, yeah. So the the uh, the the brute had to bow out. Um, no. I uh, his uh, his main objective was that I couldn't lose twelve games as soon as he ex was exhausted twelve oh, times. Wow. That was his swan song, and it did so it did indeed happen. And uh, in thanks in no small part to this darn uh, scenario, this I now <laughs> encampment. Oh yeah. my gosh. Uh, I was ch I, we were chatting off camera about this one and. Uh, this uh, is one of the hardest ones early game that I've uh, I've come across uh, in in yeah. playing the game multiple times now. This Inox encampment is so <laughs> tough. So uh, just funny. just for our, our little uh, objective perks here, I'm going to go with uh, kill one elite, and yep. uh, I'm going to go with uh, loot no gold. That's always an easy one yeah. to sort of try try yeah, and uh, keep at the back of your head there. Yes, but. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you. So the Inox encampment, the, the the main objective is you have to kill ten, uh, ten baddies. Yeah, which that seems are, pretty uh, straightforward. Yeah, it's just though that the map is really. You can see right off the hop though, you get five of them. Oh <laughs> so my gosh! Wow, there's okay. five all, and then there's one elite where that fourteen way in the back there, and then yeah, there's side rooms. So you you can kind of see them. There's uh, there'll be two side rooms on each on the right and the left. And then yes. there is a, a room straight ahead if I wanted to walk through that as well. Uh, That's so okay. You, Interesting. So it, it's, the map's pretty spread out, which is part of the problem, too, because you, you have to spend the first bit tackling these five. Yes. Uh, and, and sort of subduing them. And with so many of them, you just got, you've got like constant barrage of attacks happening on you. Yes. So, which is a big part of the problem. You, you, you almost ha and, and those three in the front there, those three guards, they are, are just a big pain. So, yes, um, I think we, you and I, did play this together at some point, and we lost the we lost, but we came close. We were within a card or two of of being able to finish. I do recall but we did. Yes, You're absolutely right. This, yes, I do yep, remember this, this scenario, and it was tough. It is um, a hard a hard one to to, to sort of uh, to nail down. Yeah, uh, I, I find of of all this, like the first two kind of went pretty easy. And then I, I ran into this one and it honestly took like 10, 10 tackles <laughs> at it to really finally, yeah. uh, finally, you know, solve the Rubik's Cube. So, wow. And you, you lost the brute in the meantime and <laughs> lost the brute. But you know what? The, the Berserker, um, I, I did want to have a quick uh, chat about the Berserker. We can sure. bring him up as we as we can. But he's kind of a high risk, high reward character. Where yeah. it's um, he you you uh, you can sustain a lot of personal damage uh, to to gain greater benefit. Oh, so it's okay. kind of kind of interesting with the berserker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. So uh, I'll get into a bit more later. So what my my strategy was here was to get in there quick. Yeah. And uh, so with the uh, with the scoundrel here, we're gonna get zip in quick, and we're gonna try and uh, knock off one of the uh, the, the middle guard. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, because the the uh, the scoundrel has the ability. Oh, and there's a times two, which is genius. So yeah. Oh, nice. He's gonna take a good a good beat right away. Uh, the the scoundrel has uh, has that ability where if he's isolated uh, beside a, uh, a regular enemy, yes, and uh, the enemy is also beside an ally, then yes. it's an instant kill. Oh, nice. So, so we're gonna try to uh, work at that. If, oh. if I can, if we can take that middle guy out, then we, then the uh, scoundrel can get in between, and he can use that yes. ability to, to great success. Yeah, you missed, just missed out on getting him. Now I know I had to that, waste a whole oh, other attack. That was annoying. Yeah, that's annoying. So that that um, and then he heals up. I remember yeah, that elite. That, that elite, yeah, batting yeah. the back there, just constantly heals. So that's yeah, okay. a zero damage. I'll take that. Yep. 
not bad. Okay, so now he's kind of he's scampered back, and and they can't be so for the scoundrel's ability to work too. It has to be, uh, they can't be even the enemy can't be beside uh, uh, its mm. own ally, so it has to be completely oh, yes. isolated. Oh yeah, you need them isolated. Yeah, yeah. But yes. uh, if you can pull it off, oh, it is such a powerful yes, a uh, powerful card. It, uh, it's it maybe even op to be honest. It's it's which pretty... which one's that? Which um, it's move? card eighty eight for the scoundrel. I forget the oh. name offhand, but it's basically oh, okay. where if he is beside an enemy, uh, who is not beside any of their own enemies, and mm. you're adjacent and uh, and your opponent or your sorry your uh, your teammates beside you, it's an instant yes. kill. Oh, yeah, that's... And the yeah, card could be recycled, too, which it's not a one-time use. Huh. Yeah, that's that's really good. Although you do have to... That's the maneuvering part. you got to make sure you can um, get yourself set up uh, to... Uh, to pull know, it off. To be in that... To pull it off, yeah, because it's not always going to lend itself well to that. No, um, no, no. Ex so. Oh, there, there it is there. It's the visage yeah. of the inevitable. Inevitable, I inevitable. yeah. So, uh, and even actually the, uh, so the other ability in that one is not bad either because it is uh, move to and poison, I believe yeah. it was poison all adjacent uh, yeah, enemies. That's, yeah. So and even if you're using is, the other half. A great help, especially if they've, if they're, if the, the more health an enemy has, actually I find the better it is because it's not, that enemy isn't going to die right away and kind of waste the, poison benefit because if they if you poison that unit and then they die the next turn or whatever it's like well it, only marginal yeah you know, benefit yeah 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 but, yeah exactly yeah so, so right now the berserker's up and he's got this this cauterized card which is attack one only yeah. but you it's got a range three yeah uh, and, and you can good. hit two and it yeah. also wounds them so there's a fair Ooh, bit i just i just nice. love the flexibility of that card yeah so now now he's gonna scamper over beside uh that solo uh uh, the solo enemy there. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Setting he, up the the play. That's right. Setting up the power yep. play here. So now I uh, and I've got it all lined up. So now um, uh, scoundrel can just mosey Move on over, over there, there, grab mosey some gold, over and do something inevitable. <laughs> exactly. That's perfect. And say la vie, right there. There yeah. he's. Uh, there he goes. So that yes. card really helps. That it, is really good. Yeah. Uh, so we still now we're down Perfect. to you know there's still 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 three left but oh that guy yes. walked right into it which is kind of kind of awesome yes that's great so now so, he's got the uh, the uh, the the arm the what's it, ooh, it's wow it's where you can uh, yeah distance attack there yeah yes that was pretty pretty powerful and I remember the that uh, a new a new enemy is summoned all the time I remember this the first time we we're trying to get at that. Um, that shaman character there in the back row um, that does all the healing and, and everything. And right. I, I remember trying to battle your way around all the all the uh, obstacles and everything to get there. Yeah, and there's like different pitfalls and and yeah, uh, and, and, and yeah there's new there's new uh, guards that kind of slowly trickle out. They don't come yep. out every turn, I find, but they, they come out with some definitely with regularity. With some regularity. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. So, I remember. I think we did try this one a couple times. And we couldn't beat it, and then no, uh, it was hard. Yeah, yeah it left you one. to your own devices. Yeah, I know. All yeah. right, you're on your own. <laughs> yeah. Good so luck. What, what are the keys? And obviously, you need to get out and and you know kill the these uh, these guards as quickly as possible. But what else would you say is key to the to winning this? So uh, if you notice that guard there right beside the scoundrel has retaliate on him, that's part of the problem that I was running up against a lot is that mm. if you if you don't pick a low enough initiative, yes. uh, especially off the first turn, then yes. they all hit retaliate and basically uh. you're getting you're you're sustaining all this damage right yes. off the hop, eh? And so that is a real uh, that was a real problem. I had to really intentionally pick low initiative numbers so that I could yes. make sure that I got in there first to attack. Interesting. So, so that's going to be a key yep, to this. Yep. So you uh, want to make sure one. to try and get in there and uh, definitely try to get rid of the shaman and the archer so that it's... Yes. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of focused. I, I zipped up with the uh, scoundrel there to try and start working on them because uh, the shaman's going to just be healing. Yep. Healing up all your damage. And uh, so... Oh, yeah. So this card here is interesting with the... Um, with the Berserker. Sorry to cut to, cut to yeah, the, uh, yeah. the other bit, bit there, but so this... Strength this, and uh, Agony, is that the card you're looking at? Yeah, Strength and Agony. So he, so you can see that he can move four for free, but then he can also... Uh, 
add damage to himself to move extra spaces. Oh, and along with this okay. reckless offensive as well, which is interesting, uh, if he's beside, say, multiple opponents or multi yes. uh, multiple enemies, he, oh, there was an there awesome... There you go. Nice. Yeah, nice yeah. yeah that there. was a great slaughter. Yeah. Um, but just on that reckless offensive, he can actually um, spend a, another health to... Um, to attack multiple units. Oh, interesting. So yeah, yeah there, there's that high, re, you know, high damage, some a bit of damage, but more reward, right? So yeah. Now you're getting down in health there. I did notice that, and, and yeah. so I think I, I'm de debating burning a card here because yeah, I don't. To, I, to, I'm to just getting a bit damage, low, yeah. and, and we're kind of surrounded. <laughs> so yeah, and you don't have any potions. I don't think any health potions or anything coming. Nothing. Into this one. Night. Can't, I don't yeah. think so. I'm, I may no, I didn't see anything. Okay, but, okay. but yeah, I mean, if obviously if you have the money, health potions are a good. Uh, oh, that blood pact is a great yes. card for the uh, the berserker. By the way, we'll, uh, it'll yeah. oh, that, yeah. uh, it it, uh, it is attack six, and you mm -hmm. do lose half your health. But like right now, I'm at three three health. No, oh, so okay. <laughs> what I could do is do the attack six, lose half my th uh, three would be rounded down or rounded up. I mean, but then you just uh, yeah. do a heal, mm -hmm. and you try and heal back. So, uh, so yeah, um, the scoundrel's in a bit of trouble as well. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, he is in a bit of trouble, though, uh, or she's in a bit of trouble because she's kind of got people on both sides there. Yeah. So, that's not um, good. but oh, and that unbridled power there from the uh, yes. Yeah, my maximum yep. my maximum health jumps to 26. Oh wow. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then I have an ability and I'm just trying to see if it's still in or if I've already used it this turn. Um I think I've already used it. It it's basically yeah. heal up to half of your maximum health. Oh. So what you do is you play that unbridled power first. Yeah. And and then you heal up to half your maximum health and boom, oh, you're up nice. like, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of like you're playing, you're mucking around with your health. You go, it's going low than high and you're able to take uh, advantage of those cards at minimum cost. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Interesting. So, so I'm going to so, kill yeah. this guy for free, which is great. That's perfect. Uh, yeah, yep. that's and then I'm going to also put this block, the Jeez. trickster's reversal, to put the block yes. on. Perfect. So, yeah. so he's safe, uh, or she's safe. I don't even know if that's a. Yeah. Uh, Let's say it's she. Looks all like right, we'll call her she. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, there's the attack six though. Yes. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna. But you do suffer some... damage there. You do. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Lose. Uh, so lose two. Yeah. But now I've done this one here, and the next three sources of damage, uh, you reduce it. Uh, that would reduce uh, you to hit points. You suffer no damage. So I've oh, okay, nice. uh, basically created a block for three rounds. Now that That's, is a burnable card, though. But uh, yes, yeah. But you got to um, do. You got to spend the burn burn cards at some point, usually, in order to win. Then you have to. I think the key is just knowing when to to use them because, and and generally, the later you can do, you can hold on to them, the better, of course. But there's sometimes where the situation demands it and. You gotta clear the the board. You've only got so much time here, so that's right. Um, that's and right. That's what yeah, I think yeah, is yeah. So, you're, on, you're on the clock. Yeah, what I, I think it's so different about Gloomhaven compared to a lot of other dungeon crawlers, or even something like a, a like something like Descent or whatever, is you have a lot more time to just kind of wander around. And and this one is no, it's like a surgical strike. You have to get in and out, and yeah, you know, you get don't back have to your a lot of right room. away. <laughs> No. Yes. So here for the scoundrel, I'm going to hit the duelist advance, and then I'm going to attack two, and it will really attack four for two of them. So hmm. it's a neat, it's a neat little power play you can pull off uh, with. Oh, there's another one down, which is great. Yes, oh, perfect. that one's down to one oh, health. So geez. we've almost got uh, the room all yeah. cleared out here, which is great. So now I'm in a bit of a dilemma here because I can I can heal myself up with the berserker, yeah. or I could move two and try to ice them. Yes. Uh, ice off that last baddie. Yes. Which is pretty tempting, but it's a bit risky because I have. Yes. You got no room for error, and I could hit. A, I could hit the uh, the zeros. Oh, so. you're gonna go for it. Gonna go for it because the room is. Oh, it was just I minus one, but just, just enough. Oh, <laughs> just enough. Oh. Yeah. The nice thing is here now because there's no there's no enemies in the room. We can actually yes. take a little you time, can take heal a couple up, long long rests. Yeah, I mean. Uh, I do have the uh, having played this a few times. I know that. Um, 
uh, in this room in the upper right corner uh, yep. is uh, there's only one there's one fella in there that we're gonna go that uh, I'm gonna send the scoundrel in to go tackle. Okay. Uh, so he's and, like a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but in, in, oh, okay. And I will long rest or uh, definitely yeah. Oh, gotcha. Just, just okay, so one. yeah, bursting into the room. Yeah, if you I mean if you don't need to to rest, if you've got cards left, and if you can most importantly if you can take out an enemy. Oh, uh, and a times two, to, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I wonder if that was the blessing from your uh, from your encounter. Oh, a lot of that, is. that you know what? That is probably very likely. Yes. Yeah. I bet you that's what made the difference. And and I think that you know even though it's a one time use, you know, going to the the store or whatever and buying blessings that where, where it's, sorry the store I shouldn't say that, but you know the there's the yep, spot the in market the, the the Gloomhaven Market. Yep. Yeah, but it's not in the market where you get the blessings. So you have to go to. Oh, it's a, the church. The church, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So I think it, it probably is worth it if, especially uh, if you're having any any trouble with uh, with the the missions. Um, I think it's probably a good use of your uh, time and energy to to, to zip money over there. To and go yeah. And, yeah, to go yeah. over there. So yeah, so now suddenly <laughs> you've got a couple units uh, on you. So another another guard has popped up here, yep. uh, and uh, Scoundrel's in a pretty good position here to, to knock off the uh, yep. shaman. Oh, there it goes. Plus two, that helps. That's great. So now I can instead of uh, using, I can I can zip over and take out the next uh, or help support yeah. take the next. Yep. Uh, I've got to get I've got to get my berserker a bit healed up though. Berserker is pretty low. Yeah, berserker is really low. Although so, you have that protection in place for. Uh, three rounds. Yes, said, I do. It? And and now yeah. what I can do is, uh, oh, we did. I didn't do it quite this turn. Okay, so I, I do have that card too, where I my bonus bumps up to twenty six health. Oh, nice. Or sorry, my uh, yeah. my maximum health can expands to twenty six. Oh wow. Uh, okay, so and bad. then I can that's use that. Good. Yeah, there's there's that power play that I I have up my sleeve still, so we can. But yes. we uh, we're, we can save it for now. But in the meantime, uh, I could. I, it's the dilemma of do I? Uh, yeah. Are you attack. healing? Are, are you healing up, or what? You know, do you? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the uh, the retaliate. So if this guy decides mm. to attack me, yeah, the retaliate will be on him, and, and yeah, I'll be willing, I'll be position. willing to burn a card, but um, yep, um, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be to to actually, yeah, I damage damage the the guard in the process. So yes. Oh, he had to redraw that one, eh? Didn't want to give up. No, 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 because yeah, uh, yeah here's another power play for knocking this guy right off uh, with again with the the uh, the visage. The boy, yeah, the, boy, the inevitable yes. destruction here. So as long yes, as I get I the like scoundrel that. to go first, yes, uh, he just she just got to zip over and then uh, do damage, and then yep. uh, that one's off the board. In the room to the uh, upper left, there are two yep. enemies. So basically, if I can take out this guard here, yeah, that would be. Uh, if you look at the right there, the Inox encampment, it says kill a number of yes. enemies equal to uh, five times the. So uh, we're at seven of ten. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so this would be eight of ten. I can, that I'm going to be yeah, that doing visit, right now. That visage. I don't think we we had that card or no it, uh, or used it effectively. I didn't. Pl well, I don't remember. That's a pretty powerful. It's one extremely powerful. Yeah, that's yeah. great. The problem um, is though the the, the the guards the the AI really stays in formation. Oh yes. now here here's the power play for the the so I use that one I'm, I my my new heal is twenty six, yep. and then I heal X for uh, where X is the difference between your maximum hit, hit points and the current hit points. Yes. So it bumped nice. me up from six to fourteen. Now they're yeah, both burnable great. cards, but yeah, that's okay. Yeah, burn two cards doing it, but again, you know you what? Just, you I, I gain twelve health. Left, eh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah so and I just had to give myself enough uh, enough you know wiggle room basically to get to get over there and start doing some damage. Yeah. So we have we have two enemies in this upper left room we can get in and mm -hmm. tackle with here. Yeah, um, and I think when we played <clears throat> at least, uh, and it was a little while ago, I remember playing this. I think we we split up a bit too much. I think you do need to work together. That's um, the thing because I, uh, that that uh, inevitable card number eighty eight is very powerful, but it, it the the requirements on it are pretty tough to pull off, or tougher than you yeah. think, because yeah. we both have to be beside the enemy. No other enemies can be beside the enemy, yeah. And uh, you know, and you have to often work your card 
card selection yeah, targeting, around it, yeah, right? You're, yeah, you're targeting the uh, an isolated enemy, essentially. And, That's right. and they will stay in forma- formation. They'll oh, they do. And they go other. to their way to stay in formation. They yeah. they are very well aware. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> so yeah, this is basically, so. the, this uh, Strength and Agony um, yep. is the best moving card that the Berserker, that I have in the Berserker deck. It's yes, a, a move but it does four. cost you health. And I mentioned it earlier. No, no, yes. you can move four for sure. But for if sure, you, but you then, can move up yeah. to seven. Yes. Now, my plan here is... Um, the uh, the offensive card there uh, I forget the I missed the first name but but it, it allows me to attack multiple damages at, or multiple enemies um, at four attack yes so my plan is uh, the 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 two uh, guards inside this upper left room are beside each other with a space in between uh, oh so nice. I want to try and get if I can but I just don't know if I have the the distance to get in there with seven it might be just a yeah bit that's too far. The, that's the thing because uh, you got to know how many spaces you need to move on the other side of the door as well that's right that's right yeah to, to even get in there can so. you spend them as you go like can you keep spending and move one more move one more uh well that? see no no you can spend uh you the way it would work the... is you spend one two or three and then you oh, decide how okay. many extra spaces you want Oh, so wow, okay. it, this one here would be a one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I can get there. If I damage myself for three, I can get in between yes. them, and then I can damage myself for two more, and yeah. I can attack them both. And you set up the trickster's reversal, which is good. So they uh... and he he took a, a a block there, which is nice. Yeah. He can't block this one, so I think yeah, we're just gonna take some fine. damage. So this is going to take a fair bit of damage. Yeah. Um, well, you got the health though. That's good. Uh, you know, it's yeah. a good combo. We had just jacked up the health, and and I mean, th- I, that's now what I found with the Berserker. The squares. <laughs> One, exactly. Two, yeah, three, yeah, yeah. Yes. Five, Five six. six get, just seven. get there. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. So, so we're gonna we're gonna go all the way to seven there, and we're gonna get ourselves right in between them. Yep. Um. So yeah, the Berserker, the health I find goes up and down and up and down. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, there, there's perfect. a lot of cards that will heal, and then you know your your. But again, your cards that'll just do a lot of. You have to do yes. s- self damage, but you know with with. Yes, certain, but it, with the right timing. It's just and so you. Yeah. You hit those two attacks there. That's perfect. Yep. And these are the last two. If we can, if, if, yes. if we can whittle these two down, then we've got the game. So. Yeah, and they are isolated, so it does set up the visage as well. For That's the, right the scoundrel to zip in and take out one of them. And then, um, yeah, I mean, it's funny though. Like now I don't, I've can't... already used a visage, so I can't, unless I do a, a short oh, rest. Yes. yes. So, and I, at this point I, we're going to, I'm going to try to whittle him down. Um, mm-hmm. just from, cause he's got the range. Uh, yeah. I, the, uh, the berserker has the range of two the multiple targets. as yep. well. And the scoundrel has got the, uh, the bow and arrow attack of, uh, yep. with three, or the throwing throwing knives, yeah, that's uh, I love that card. That's you, yeah, you're a big of fan of that one, eh? Yeah, it's just nice because you have two targets, does a decent amount of damage. Um, yeah, it's just it's a nice, uh, you know, nice nice card to have. And now, it's very now I'm going to zip initiative. over because I know that uh, my the uh, the short rest can happen. Oh no, I actually yes. stayed there. Okay, because I. I the, the four health was a little bit concerning. So yes. <laughs> I thought, well, I'm going to just maybe linger back a little bit here. Yeah. So you go after the couple targets. Yep. Yep. Which is good. And hopefully you and get just, oh, over. yeah, not quite. Okay. But, but I can heal for three. So uh, yep. the Berserker can stay a little longer in the yeah, in it's, action it's, here. It's down to the wire here because they're, you're, uh, your health is a bit worrisome. You're at 14 health, like literally. One <laughs> I know, ago. two turns ago, right? <laughs> yeah. We're down to, and now a new a new guard has appeared on the screen. Oh no! I have to take a short well, rest. I can't it, afford it, it, to. Yeah. Oh, I did. I did take it one damage because that oh, guy is. Just, a, he's only got one damage left. That. Yeah. So all I need to do is get. Uh, I I've got we. The berserker has to take that one, the one uh, with one health you out. Have, you're setting up the visage, there and you I'm go. setting up the visage for the yeah. So this for is going to have the to tough guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Require no, like perfect. That's good, actually, this should be, this should be. Well, I, I mean, at the very worst, uh, yeah. Because so we're, you we're, can we're, take a card to avoid damage, right? So, yeah. So tricksters, uh, tricksters reversal to move there. 
Yep. And then now I did you lose. I, perfectly yeah, set up. That's great. He's yeah. That and card's done now. You, uh, it's just going to be on. Uh, it's just going to be on this on the uh, the berserker yeah. here to take out the last. Yes. But, right, and that uh, guard but you, didn't do much. Oh, oh and he died because right. he had a da he had uh, he had a damage on him. So oh, it was wound? just to survive. Uh, that last guard had yeah, a wound. Yeah, so he had a wound. Nice. Yeah, wounded. So, nice. so we uh, survived it here. Ten, it ten enemies killed. Yes. Now I'm curious though, and and this was a, a pretty solid win. Could you have done it with the brute? Do you think, if you given enough time, flesh. or did you need the yes. the, the berserker's yes. uh, benefit? Well, no, because uh, the berserker uh, was great. Uh, as, as you saw, it, got, it has some amazing abilities, but the Brute, too, could have done. Uh, and I have beaten it with the Brute as well, actually. So, oh, you have? Yeah, okay, yeah. nice. So new new That's records good. here for damage done. Uh, nice. The Berserker. And, uh, yeah. and damage taken. And a lot, a lot of damage taken as well yeah. by the Berserker. Healing yeah. done by the Berserker. 19. <laughs> XP <laughs> earned. 8 by the by Scoundrel. So we've got lots of... Yeah, lots of, that's uh, great. Hey, solid win. That was that was excellent. I'm, I know it took a long time for you to get it, but uh, well earned. Yes, thank you. And uh, stay tuned for the next uh, battle. Uh, it'll be coming soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, thank you so much for watching. This is Legendary Tactics.